so. That's going to make you quite a bit powerful. Anyway, I just started the recording. We're starting session 42 of the Sphere of Power. Um, and yes, we're talking about our new member of the party, our monkey. Um, the way I see it, um, Jim, is that actually your clothes are all going to be there. Um, you're going to, your clothes are on you, um, especially since your memory is intact. So obviously it's not a total polymorph. Um, your ring is also going to be on your finger. It will have adjusted to match the size of the monkey finger. As you pointed out, though, you can't really use it if it requires a verbal component. But because you have your, um, your memory intact and your knowledge, if you can activate it with something other than a verbal component, I would say that the, spell, the, the ring of spell storing is still usable. And yeah, because the spells were cast into it, and yep. now it just requires an action. So, if that's the case, like I said, monkey cannot speak, does not have verbal abilities. If you were a parrot, I would say you could probably figure it out within a few days. But monkeys do not have the ability to speak, unfortunately. They are really good at sign language, and you are absolutely more than welcome to try to figure out ways to convey signals to your party members. However, keep in mind, you guys have not pre, um, pre-planned such an event. So I'm going to be rather stringent about just how well you can interpret complex um, indications. Obviously things like okay and yes and whatnot are gonna be no problem, but you're not gonna be, and, and you be able to understand a complex strategy, but you're not gonna be able to in, um, input into it. Why do I get the feeling Jim going to be doing a lot of very uh, Italian hand uh, gestures to us all? <laughs> yeah. I'm a monkey now. I'm going to do what I want. I fling poo. <laughs> to hell with social convention. I Silly do what monkey. I can, whatever I get away with. Silly monkey. So, um, yeah, that should make it a little bit more interesting for you. Now, of course, refreshing the spells, um, that could be interesting until you uh, manage to figure out how to get back into your human form. But I do believe you have, what, three other party members that can cast spells that could potentially um, give you some armament if necessary? I'll take that as I like that idea. All right. I'm now a monkey. I can't talk. Your monk, your character can't talk. Jim can talk. <laughs> Jim's going full. Uh, He's full definitely monkey. doing the RP. You know what? You, you, you get inspiration. <laughs> this is definitely a step beyond. And you've obviously spent some time. So, yeah, inspiration is called. He's been practicing his method acting all week. Yep. Getting inside the head of this, the monkey. So are you like a chimpanzee? Well, currently he's an ape, apparently. I might have to do some stat adjustments there, but yeah, there's gotta, there's gotta be a monkey in there, really? Yeah, I, I see him as more of a chimpanzee than a full-fledged ape. Ape sounds like way too powerful for a wizard to turn into. Yeah, right, you're so much stronger <laughs> now than you exactly. ever have been that, in your life. That would be what? like the choice, the choice to do from here on out or something. Well, it doesn't Let's... seem like it would be that inappropriate. I mean, it's a balance for, you know, oh, well, I can't cast my spells anymore, except for, you know, snapping my fingers. Put the door open. <laughs> well, on the positive side, at least the Glyph Brother is going to be getting a lot of fights now, and there's going to be less fireballs involved. Less fireballs, yeah, can... and you have another tank. According to the ape, uh, um, according to the ape stats, I can throw rocks. I have a ranged attack 25 to 50 feet. Ooh. Cool. So, and I can do two fist attacks. So there you go. Not much, but it's honest work. Yeah, I know I've seen small animals described. Um, cats, monkeys, um, individual rats, uh, squirrels, things like that. I'm trying to think of where the hell I've seen it though. Um, all right, well, we'll see, we'll see what happens. We'll, 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 we'll worry about that. 
All right, so the thing. All right, so first of all, you have another companion with you. Do any of you remember his name? Boy, you guys are getting rusty. Didn't I put it in? I might have written it down. Sorry, I'm trying to get onto Discord on my computer, and it's not being particularly nice about it. Uh, yeah, but you've got to remember the people who uh, taught him and got his name was uh, Verick and, oh, I can't remember what the other guy was called. Because they talked to him and got the name, the rest of us technically was keeping watch, so we might have not heard or got the character name. There we go. I wrote it down. I don't know if Kaylee actually got his name, but Alex wrote it down. <laughs> yeah, we, we know you're the, the note taker of the group. All right. So, but that means, as you accurately pointed out, Ms., that it was the Goliaths that were talking to him. So, since we only have one of them here at the moment, Tell me, Matt, what do you recall about what you learned from Barris? Or did we, did we just lose him and he just came back in? He's coming back. Yes. In. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So, okay. Well, my wife started the car, so it stole all my Bluetooth and sound. Go ahead. <laughs> all right. No big deal. Um, yeah, I've had that happen to me before, too. So, yeah, we were just <laughs> pointing out, or as uh, Ms. was pointing out, that it was the two Goliaths that were talking to our new NPC who Kaylee recalled is named Barris Broadblade. Um, yes, but yes. Since, since it was the two of you that were talking to him, I'm going to throw the ball in your court and see what you recall about what you learned from him. Although he was the captain of the... This is wrong. The Wayfinders Guild. What is it? I don't have any... My desk is a mess right now. Okay, there, there's... We're, we're definitely Lord playing the telephone going. game here. Things are getting distorted. Do I want to clear them up? <laughs> uh, were they uh, sand slavers? Sand voyagers. He's a captain. Of, sand he's, a captain yeah. Yeah. He's, he's a guard captain for the sand voyagers. Yes. Yes. Yep. Looking after the slaves. Mm -hmm. No, that was the thing the that. Slavers. Was, right. Right. Cap captured slavers were the ones that he was responsible for guarding over. Right. So he was not a slaver himself. And this is where things get a little unclear in both the book and in what I may have presented before. So that's why I want to make sure it's clearly understood now. It's all cool. He has both of his hands. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> the sand voyagers, as far as you all know, and have been told in your time since you arrived at Bralazar, um, they are an, a honorable guild. They do not deal with slaves. Um, they don't normally um, champion them, but they're not known for dealing in slaves. On the other hand, there is another guild that has been apparently operating clandestinely and with, throughout the desert. That is a slaver's guild. And apparently, as you've recently learned, not from Barris, but from other sources, the slavers have infiltrated the Sand Voyagers Guild and may or may not be responsible for the disappearance of the current or of the, the prior, of the missing leader of the Sand Voyagers Guild. So you don't know whether or not they orchestrated his disappearance so that they could infiltrate or they took advantage of his disappearance in order to infiltrate. So, Barris apparently was a loyal member of the Sand Voyagers and was given up to the cultists when they realized that he couldn't be trusted with um, information by the people that were now infiltrating the Sand Voyagers. So, Does he know who gave him up to the cultists? Huh? Does he know who gave him up to the cultists? Um, 
at the very least, I'm sure he would probably have his own suspicions within his own organization of who may have been doing nefarious shit. Indeed. No, he can't be sure. Um, all he can, all, all he knows about who is involved is that this guy Korga kept interrogating him and asking him where the princess was. And when he he didn't know, and when he didn't tell them, that he was considered a traitor and thrown thrown in here. Hmm. And we found a secret room that turned the wizard into a monkey. You found a secret door. Does anyone remember how this all went down? It was behind the monkey. We opened the door. And then after we opened the door, he hit the other eye. Yeah, and it was the left, left eye opened the door, right eye turned me into a monkey. Yeah. Right. And he just had to be a completionist. Yes. What if the monkey turns the eye back to where it was? Will he unturn into a monkey? Was that. Now, why would I want to do that? <laughs> I don't want to try it. Get That's far too long. So does that mean someone's going to try to press the eye again? No, no. I'm not it. I'm not a monkey. Vark's touching his nose. <laughs> not it. <laughs> uh, um, here comes Dan. There he is. Besides, we still have to yeah, capture them. Hey, Dan, glad you could join. That wasn't too bad at all. Yo, I've got so, a familiar hey, with a monkey today. too. You got what? Oh, I am. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're forming a league of pooflingers. <laughs> <laughs> the pooflingers guild. <laughs> Yeah, so we're on our way home. I've got a familiar with me that's going to be overhearing the uh, excitement. Okay. Oh, wonderful. Say hi. Hello. Hello, hello. I will eat my Dairy Queen Blizzard and listen to the adventures of your expedition. Uh, right now, we're just having <laughs> way too many fun with puns, and our newest uh, member of the party has been turned into a monkey. <laughs> Jim got turned into a monkey last night. Oh, goodness. <laughs> all right so um the the statue the one as uh, jim pointed out the one i seemed to trigger the the door that opens to the east um or doorway that opens to the east but the other eye was um definitely what triggered uh the polymorph of your mage so well, let's face it. If there was anyone that needed to be silenced, just kidding, just kidding. Um, but there was also some other important information you got from Barris. Anyone recall that? No. That nobody knows who the princess is. The cultists don't have her. The slavers don't have her. Right. Is that it? I remember that. That's part of it. There's a little more to that. Actually, a little more information that's substantially important. Come on, Kaylee. Yeah. I, I did not write that down, unfortunately. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. I wrote down that nobody knows where she is. <laughs> oh. I'm a Goliath. So do I wait until you guys find... I, I, I'm pretty sure I even put it into the chat. I'm session. not... Uh... I'm not near my notes, so I don't have anything either. So do I f remind you or do I uh, just accept that the party missed this information and wait until you figure it out again? Hmm. Hmm. I'll do a wisdom save. <laughs> I gotta see if I remember that for a little while. Well, don't forget, like I said, I need glass for talking to him, so I, I could be I could be really well. nasty and make a ruling that the uh, monkey does remember. <laughs> Even my wife laughed. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to think about whether or not I will work. Jerry makes a good memory. point. The monkey can write. Sorta. You're Sorta, not exactly yeah. used to using monkey muscles, you know. Well, that's true. He might have to practice for an evening or something. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm loving the sound effects. All right. So, um, and you, too, by the way, you, Jamie got them at the perfect volume. They're not overpowering or anything. All right. So, doorway to, oh, let me post the date and time so you guys know what's going on or when it is. All right, so we're getting close to midnight here. And all right, what's going to be the best way to do this, unfortunately? Oh, I don't even have, oh, do I? Maybe I do. All right, so I'm going to have to improvise with the map here. What's going to be the best way to do this? Oh, this is not going to go over very well. Bummer. All right, we're going to probably have to do a little more theater of the mind this week. I'm sorry, guys. <clears throat> All right, so once you pass through or look through that doorway that's opened up, you see a hallway that extends into the dark with passages that break off to the left and to the right after about 10 feet. At this point, there is no other detail that you can discern. The passage is dark. Does the passage continue straight on ahead of us and then breaks to the left and right, or is it like a T Correct. intersection? Correct. Not a T. It's, it's a, it appears to be a okay. four-way intersection. Crossroads, yeah. Okay. Um, are there any tracks on the ground? There do not seem to be any around the doorway, but around the crossroads, there's definitely a indications of traffic. That's as much as I'll I'm not leading the way. Mm -hmm. Send in the monkey. Monkey. <laughs> And this is... So I actually have better athletics, a lot better athletics than I did as a wizard. But my Makes perception and passive perception are way less thing? than they were. So. Yeah. So yeah, I can head down there, but I make no guarantees. And I might fling poo at whoever makes me go down there. <laughs> Do you want me to make like an animal handling, handling save? You are unmuted, Dan. I'm going to do that. Let's see. Did he deafen himself? The question is like critical role, can I make my poo flaming? Yeah, but that's a fire elemental eh, details. In a monkey form. <laughs> you never know. I might have polymorphed into a fire element in a monkey form. It just depends if my eyes turn flaming. Did you um, have what spells? I would, oh, we wouldn't know. I would like to know yeah, all, what all my spells we've been are gone. feeding you. <laughs> 
Yeah, I've got an ad in action for throw poo. Ha. Oh, that's strange. All right, you see. Is the halls? Sorry, sorry. Yeah, I think the um, limited on map size or something here because I can see that there's a very little tiny bit that's showing right there. But whatever else I'm drawing is just not appearing for you guys. So, um, uh, yeah. And I messed up on not having this map ready. My, I'm really sorry about this. So hopefully we'll be able to manage. Um, let me see if there's any way I can improvise quickly. Uh, um, 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 um. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, let me see if I can. I'm going to create a new blank image and hopefully that'll allow me to draw on it and you'll be able to see it. All right, did you all get the new image? Blank image? Uh, yes, it's a blank map. Yeah. Okay. Then, yes, I did get it. My maps are always huge lately. I don't know why. <laughs> Okay, you guys should be able to see that, right? Yeah. Um, I see a line. All right, that's that was the key. I want to make sure you guys could see what I'm drawing. Okay, so at least we have something to work with now. Um, Dictionary. Oh yeah, this is going to be rough. Sorry guys, but it's better than nothing. Okay. It's okay. At least we get to play. I've been living yeah, with cool. your endeavors for years. Is the hall still sucking our our life force when we walk into it? The hall is we, yes, but it, it is cool, cool. confined to that hallway. You can definitely okay. it, you've gotten close enough to the to the path or to the uh, through the secret door that you can tell that it doesn't reach beyond there. Excuse me for a minute. I got a cat issue. Just doodle in the map. Then again, when do I'm trying to remember issues? about the princess. <laughs> All right, so uh, we got that. We got that. Let's start moving people over. Ah. Keep forgetting I have to change modes when I'm doing this. Yeah, I wish they had keyboard shortcuts for those. Yeah, it'd be so much easier. 
And you have one hand on your keyboard, one hand on your mouse, and you can manipulate the map as elements. All right. That should do um, for now. That at least gives you an idea of the layout. It's rough, but that's what you see. The Varric token is not acting like a combat tracker linked token. There's no green box and there's no um, tool tip for the name. Let me see if I can fix that then. Figured you you might like to know that. No, I appreciate that. Definitely helpful. <laughs> Better to find out now than later, you know. Yeah, when he goes to try and target something and has problems because he's not <laughs> properly on the map the way he intended to be. There we go. That's much better. Ah, uh, the power of computers when they work the way they. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so when they work, it makes life easier. And when they don't work, it makes life a hell of a lot harder. <laughs> okay. Uh. This brings up an interesting question. Friendlands? Not friendlands, but uh, let's see. This is probably going to be reasonably low. And let's see. Varric, Redress, Egg, and of course, KLE. Oh, actually, everyone except for Fekish. <laughs> um, you all hear noise coming from the left. What am I deaf? Apparently, <laughs> and it sounds like a skittering noise. Oh, dear. Snacks. <laughs> Just blew it. Uh, should one of the brothers move forward and uh, investigate the skittering? The tour of my hammer in my hand. And it's not a continuous sound. It's just you hear it intermittently. And so, like, you know, one of you probably, uh, Haig, noticed it first. <laughs> and then um, kind of, you know, you looked ahead. And then you look back at your brother. And your brother's, like, nodding his head. Yeah, I hear it, too. And the monkey's, like, jumping up and down. Yeah, or however, however you choose to signal that, you also heard something. Okay. Uh, if I, I presume it won't be a monkey know. noise this time. <laughs> yeah, I'll let Fekish know that they're skittering and look at everybody else. Yeah, he, he, he just want. seems clueless at the moment. Apparently, he got, he got lost in thought somewhere. <laughs> Trying to contemplate the monkey that just flew past me into the hallway. <laughs> I'm still back in the room with the pillars. So this whole monkey business, ha! Uh, see what I did there. He shot I, by. I go down and point towards the sound and give a little. But I don't even know who you are, except a little monkey dressed in wizard robes. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine him tripping all over them because they're probably kind of big. Yeah. No, they, poly they polymorphed <laughs> in, in size. Like like I said, the ring also adjusted so it stayed around your finger. Very good. 
Yeah, I never been, got into the whole clothes and gear polymorphed into you type motif. I'm like, no, the, the, I mean, the, the size can adjust and whatnot, but the, the stuff is still there. Otherwise, Especially it would be like, surgically extracted from beneath your skin. But don't Especially worry. Especially like um, magic items that resize themselves anyway. It doesn't make sense that they wouldn't resize to the new form. Don't worry, though. I have created the action. Thing poo. <laughs> there's no nice. damage. Uh, there's no damage attached to it, but you know. I the poo. The poo is thrown. That's right. Well, you should get a dex bonus for a, a range weapon, right? I'm using. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm he using, would. I'm using the uh, the ape's uh, rock throwing. Uh, what its stats are so mm. it's a plus five so i just adjusted it so it was a plus five <laughs> i think that should mm. probably apply awesome i, I don't want to know what do that much damage so it doesn't do any damage unless you want it to i don't think it does anything it just makes a mess maybe has a maybe has a chance to blind if i hit him in the face should be a step for a round. <laughs> All right, so, um, I'm going to move everyone else over to the new image. Just so that we have. All right, so, hey. Boulder Parchment Shears for who checks out the skittering to the left. Okay, go ahead and adjust yourselves as necessary up until the, the doorway. So where Hag is, is the threshold of the secret door? Yes. Okay. Just so I have a bearing. Look at the monkey and be like, be careful. Prone to fling poo. He's excited. <laughs> that sounded more like an ape, actually. Actually, that, that last sound is a lot like the sound that you um you're hearing intermittently. Okay. Yeah, not that one. Oh. <laughs> that must have been one of the guys that didn't get the memo about the left eye last time they went to the cultist meeting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, if everybody's moving in, then um, I will also move in. Um, but I am going to... Um, I am going to... Um, fly because I can. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just going to zoom into the room um, wherever the room is that has some monkey statue because we don't seem to be getting drained if we're standing in the rooms. We only seem to be getting drained if we're standing in the hallways. Correct. And you currently all are in the hallway, so... Okay, well, I am going to um, zoom into the room. So that right there is the room where the monkey is in the secret door. No, that's the threshold of the secret door where Haig is standing. Haig and I are standing. Because I do not want to be standing in the hallway because that is just um, not fun. Excuse me, sir. 
Okay. So you move in there and um Kayla Lee, let me see. Might be animal handling. Yeah, probably. Um Yeah, go ahead and do an animal handling check, please. Animal handling? Oh, lovely. <laughs> yeah, I know you're not proficient, but you do at least have a wisdom uh, roll for it, so. Yeah, and I you... have the best wisdom modifier of any of us. So um, as you close in and you look around, and you recognize this or you sort of recognize the sound but you connect a few other clues namely the um the pattern of prints on the floor and realize that um whatever's been walking through here has eight legs yes <laughs> okay i'm going to mutter something about spiders bingo bart <laughs> is visibly excited <laughs> he wants more spider legs. Not, not until she relays that information. Yes, to yes. You. Once she relays it, he is like yeah. legs, <laughs> legs. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm. I'm not even gonna like say it. Like, I'm not gonna like properly tell you guys. I'm just kind of muttering to myself. Damn spiders. <laughs> So that, that, that's what you get is just me muttering about spiders. Well, for whatever reason, though you guys haven't intentionally been stealthy, they apparently are not reacting to you at the moment. So you have the, um, the point of order at the moment. Yeah. Not that you can see them quite yet, but you can be pretty sure that's what you're hearing around the corner. And you're going to guess, Kayla Lee, that there's probably more than one. Yes. The, mon the monkey is currently searching around the corridor to see if there's any rocks to throw. Good question. None in the temple area, but there does seem to be quite a bit of debris, um, especially by the, the secret door on this side. It, it would seem to you guys, um, I should do a roll, but I'd say at least one of you is going to come to the conclusion that it doesn't look like this doorway has seen any use recently. You might be the first ones to go through it in a long time. The monkey will pick up two rocks. And the monkey is armed with, with solid non-waste. <laughs> <laughs> Something that may actually do damage. <laughs> I don't know the, the the moral damage of getting hit by poo. I was just thinking that myself. Yeah, that's pretty demoralizing. Yeah. <laughs> it would definitely give you a pause in combat for sure. No kidding. If you're like morale ah, check, get a mouthful of poo. Mm -hmm. If if ever there was a need for a morale check, you are covered in poo, <laughs> <laughs> and it smells bad. And two Goliaths are laughing and pointing at you. <laughs> All right, I'm waiting for you guys to make a decision here or to declare an the, action. The front team needs to move forward so the back team can come into the room and stop taking damage. Yeah, uh, I can just walk in. That's what we're going to do. How tall are the I just ceilings? Hear skittering. How tall are the ceilings? In here, the ceilings are, ooh, ceilings are only six feet tall. The okay, lights, so I'm just kind of- You guys covering. are gonna be crouching. Ugh. And that I believe does have an impact on your um, fighting. So yeah, you guys will be at minus two while you're in the confined space. Yeah, I was gonna say, I see that as fair. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. uh, do you want it to affect movement speed at all? Only if you're trying to run. So question, um, Keith, do, do my um, cloak of protection and bracers of defense still work? Yes. If they okay. don't need, if they don't require uh, a verbal component to activate, they are still magical. They still have their abilities. And I had done mage armor a while ago, which lasts for like eight hours or something. Do I still have that or that is that should, gone? That should persist because it's on you as okay. an individual, not on you as a human or okay. any specific. But entity. obviously I'm not running the mage hand anymore. I'll get rid of that. Um, yeah, I would definitely say anything that required concentration was definitely broken when you were uh, rearranged. And my, now I can't use features of my class, I believe. So my Warcaster goes away and my Fey Ancestry goes away too, right? Uh, Warcaster might not go away since it's a feat rather than a class feature. Okay. I don't know. And what particular aspect of Fey Ancestry you, you... Oh, it's just protection from uh, saving throw. It's saving throws versus charmed or and no magical sleep. Yeah, that's definitely specific to your uh, racial heritage, so that definitely will go away. But uh, Al um, Alex is probably right about Warcaster. Okay, very good. I mean, not that I can. That, cast that's something anything, that's more but... tied to your your knowledge, your experience, your memory than necessarily your okay. physical form. Okay, I need spells I can cast without speaking. Then this monkey thing would be awesome. <laughs> well, well I, stay I, in I, monkey form long enough. Stay in monkey form long enough, and you will. Um, you will experiment and find new verbal components for your spells. That's true. And I can always fling poo. <laughs> yes, you can always fling poo. Now, I have no the idea. The question how is, can you turn poo into a material? With... Go ahead, Alex. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good point. I don't know how long it would take to figure out how to um, use monkey sounds as verbal components, but it is possible. But all I have to say is that Beric is standing there laughing at me, so... I fling some poo at him. I wasn't laughing at you. That you had just said it a couple of minutes ago. You guys were laughing. Oh, no, that about was um, when somebody the, your victims of face. your poo flinging. Um, yes. They That's will okay. need a morale I still, I still check because the Goliaths will be laughing at them for having poo fling, in their face. I still fling poo at Beric. Why not? You son of a bitch. I'm going to grab it, throw it back at him. <laughs> yeah, this is how it starts. Fast. As Keith wonders how his entire session devolved into a poo flinging contest. Hey, why not? I, actually, I don't need to wonder. Um, I, what I was going to say, though, Jim, is, is that the real accomplishment would be if you can now uh, convert your spells to require poo as their material component, then you're set. Oh. The a small bit of manure. Hey, no problem! The monkey does something very untoward. You're going to need that hut so that you can, you know, conduct all these things in private. Oh boy. <laughs> all right. So um, am I moving you guys or are you guys going to move on the map? Um, if I can figure out which screen is the correct screen to move things on. Um, I will fly a little bit ahead over here. Is this like an um, intersection here? Yes. So go ahead and do a stealth check, please, as you move up. Okay. Just making room. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So there is a room to your north. It is completely filled with spider webs, with the exception of a path to an arched opening to the north. The path is six feet oh, high okay. and two feet wide.
You um, hear the spiders. You don't see them. Do I still have my bag on my back? Your what? My back. My backpack. Um. Yes. Like I said, your possessions did not disappear. Okay. Now that being said, is your backpack now too heavy for you to carry? Mm, yeah, it might be. Tough Very good question. Uh, how how do you de determine what the carry capacity is? Of a month. Um, strength is bonus strength? times or strength modifier times fifteen is the so standard formula for a player character. God, I love if he that. has to drop his pack, I'll carry it for him. Three plus three is my modifier for strength as an eight. Uh, it, yeah, he just threw um, me a lecture. <laughs> it's the um, it's the uh, score, not the bonus. Oh, okay. So 16. 16 times what? 15. 240. I can actually carry more than I can as a wizard. Which makes You're sense, kidding. I guess. Anyway. My strength <laughs> went up, but my intelligence went way down. So... So <laughs> now, normally you wouldn't be able to carry a backpack as a monkey because it's not sized right. But if you were wearing it when you were polymorph, then it is now the right size for a monkey. And everything in it got little. Not necessarily, because that definitely would complicate some things. <laughs> well, I would like to... Uh... Since the backpack itself is a worn item. Right. I would like to to reach in and pull out a torch and point at the webs and uh, give a little squeak. <laughs> I presume you're lighting the torch or no? No, he's telling he's telling us he wants to, he wants to set fire to the uh, he, he's trying to tell us that he wants to set fire to the web. Gotcha. Yes, That's the fireball. I, I do have a fireball in the ring, but I figured that was a little overkill for trying to send a message. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. Blow it up. Blow it up. Um, so um, I'm going to um, I'm going to um, signal hold on a minute. And I'm going to float into the room. Ooh. There. I am not touching the floor. I'm using my ring of flying to float. <laughs> Very interesting point. Excellent thought, Alex. Because spiders do depend on their perception thrice tensing vibrations. Yep. So there is definitely a legitimate possibility that if you're not touching anything, you could pass right in front of them completely unnoticed. Yeah, I am, I am absolutely making longbow? sure. What was that? Can a monkey fire a longbow? You'd probably have to practice, um, and it would probably be extremely awkward, but theoretically, you could fire... Um, you could fire some kind of bow. It might need to be custom made to fit your shape and strength. Uh, the wizard sure. has turned into a monkey. Awkward is my middle name now. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, theoretically, I would say with practice and possibly a carefully rearranged, carefully constructed one. Eh, I'm, I'm going to say that, you know, anything that was on you would be appropriately resized for you to use. So um, I have a short bow. A short bow definitely would be usable. Um, it has shrunk though. So I am going to say though you have the same skill with it, it is not going to do as much damage. The I'm arrows now have the... just little suction cups on the end of them. Yeah, they're not going to be that bad. I'm not going to half the damage, but... Um... Uh... Yeah, let's say no, that that's the, fine. The, that's fine. Nope. I've got rocks in my hands anyways right now. So you can do the rocks. But if you decide to use the short bow, I would say that the uh, uh, the arrows are going to do uh, three quarters full damage. Okay, that's fine. So, Kaylee, your 
floating through the web. So like trying to not touch any of the strings of the webs. Now remember yep. the path that is available to you is only six feet high and two feet wide. If you're floating above That's the okay. ground, you're probably going to have to keep yourself somewhat crouched. That's that's okay. Okay. But right I now tap. I'm just scouting it out. You can tell from here I, that there is another chamber beyond the archway, but it is dark. I tap Varric and Hag on the leg because I'm probably short at this point and point to the ring of spell storing and make a boom <laughs> sound with my fingers and point at the room and shrug my shoulders. I can see all of that. <laughs> Yeah, if Kaylee were were there to see it, she would be giving you a dirty look. But she's in the other room. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm going to carefully float and carefully, slowly, and see what I can see as I go to the head to the other end of the room. I'm I'm scouting. I'm creeping. I'm trying Arch, to be careful. Arch, look at the monkey and go, do whatever you want, but don't throw any more poo at me, okay? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you seem to manage to float your way through without triggering anyone or anything. Cool. Impressive, actually. What do I see in the room that I just traversed and uh, beyond the archway? Um, I probably should have asked this earlier, but what's your light source at this point? I'm probably relying on my dark vision um, in an effort to not be seen. Um, but I don't know for sure. I hadn't really thought about it. Lighting is something that is easy for people to forget. I'm sorry, say that again, Alex. Lighting is something that is easy for people to forget. So guess what? I forgot. <laughs> um, I don't know. Um, I'm guessing that I'm not using a light source because I don't like light sources um, when I'm sneaking because it's kind of hard to sneak when you're carrying a light that can be seen for a long ways away. Um, you have dark vision. Yes, that is that is what dark vision is for, for sneaking around. And that's perfectly fine. I just have to keep in mind what would and would not be visible with that mode of vision. So this yep. chamber is dark. Um, the floors do appear to be swept, and you can tell that there are tapestries hanging on the walls. Interesting. At the far north end of this chamber, there appears to be a very heavy door. and some kind of figure carved in the center of it. Hmm. Otherwise, this room does seem to be unoccupied. Um, okay. Um... Um, let's float over to the door and inspect it. 
a bit more closely. All right, so approaching the door, you're able to tell that the door is made of steel or at least some very heavy metal. So not, okay. wood, not rock, but a heavy metal door. And what, whatever figure is carved in it is actually molded to the door. So whatever rock okay. door in the first place included this figure on the center. So it's an ornate, well-shaped door that obviously has some kind of purpose. You can tell by, are you going to touch it or just look at it closely? Um, I'm not going to touch it until after I see if I can see any visually noticeable trap-like signs because I don't like to touch things until I've um, looked for visible signs of traps. Shall I make a um, roll for that? Yep, go ahead. Okay, now you're definitely limited because of the darkness. Um, that being right. said, you are also very good at this. Mm -hmm. And so you're looking around the, the object and you're trying to figure out exactly what its form is because you can't quite make out the details and you're right. not quite ready to touch it yet. So you can't quite get a tactile sensation of what it is that's there. But from the best guess that you can tell is that it does appear to be representing the head of something because it looks like it has a gaping an opening where their, a mouth should be. And it appears that there are some objects that you would guess are representations of teeth around that opening. Okay. What you find interesting and that you can't quite discern is that, you know, on some statues and, you know, carvings and whatnot, when they, when they de depict a mouth, the mouth might be sealed, you know, right there, or it might go back a little way. You can't quite mm -hmm. tell how far back the opening of the mouth goes. Interesting. That does make me want to um, not be right directly in front of the mouth. Because that makes me suspect that there is more to this than simply a decorative thing. It makes me suspicious of things like traps. And presumably the rest of you are just waiting patiently for her to uh, report back? Or not so patiently, knowing um, knowing how this goes. You have, you have a monkey. Um, yes, I have a monkey. I mean, yeah, who, how long has this been? Like she signaled for us to stop. and Definitely not as long as it is in game. Sure. She's probably only been gone about a minute or so, 90 seconds. I look at the monkey and hang and be like... How much longer do you want to wait? I don't hear anything, so obviously she didn't trigger anything. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, she, she so is being I'm very going to... seconds. True to form, she is being very stealthy. I'm just talking right back at you as you're uh, as you're talking, even even though you can't understand me. I pretend that I can, and I'm like, yeah, for sure. That's gonna be like Luke and R two, right? Yeah, yeah. that's right. <laughs> So I'm going to um, I'm going to move out of the way of the path of whatever might come out of the mouth, and then I'm going to cautiously poke at the door and see what else I can learn. I, I should point out this will probably make a difference. I should point out that the size of the opening 
is probably not too much larger than your own fist. So it's not like filling up the whole door. Okay. Um, I'm still going to make sure that I am out of the path of whatever might come out of that mouth. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to touch the door and see what else I can learn. Okay. So you're out of the way on there. You touch the door. Nothing happens by touching the door. Um, and you start feeling away around and you can tell that there are some um, bands that are reinforcing the door. Um, all parts are uh -huh. definitely metal. As you feel the rivets, you can feel that they are solidly welding the bands to the door. So you can tell that this door is not going to come down by force, even with the Goliaths. So you're pretty sure there's got to be some kind of opening or locking mechanism. And as you okay. feel around... Hmm? Okay. And as you feel around and you approach the figure on the on the door, are you going to continue to explore it with your with your hands? Yes. Okay. It is definitely Possibly. it is definitely representing the head of some kind of cat. And as you feel around, you know, I'm going to presume you're hesitant at first, but eventually you're like, okay, let me feel around the jawline, and you can feel the teeth. And the teeth are sharp, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. they are, there's definitely a recess within the mouth. It's a temple devoted to misery. And actually, I'm going to have you do, I, I, under most circumstances, I say this would not be normal, but given your particular skills in your class, um and your luck with the die rolls for that matter let's go ahead and do a, a perception check or actually no in this case an investigation investigation is called for here investigation okay investigation not nearly as good a bonus but oof Yeah, not not nearly as good. No, definitely not nearly as good. And it's right on the line. So I'm trying to debate exactly oh, what you would <laughs> what you would discern. Ah. All right, I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt here, because I really can't think of any middle ground here. Um okay. you detect what you believe to be a keyhole at the back of the mouth. interesting but basically you would okay. have to put your hand into the mouth to access that keyhole yeah and i would say it you'd probably be at least as far as your wrist if not further a certain what? wizard has a mage hand if he was in wizard store <laughs> <laughs> but instead i'll fling poo Okay, um, I'm going to, at this point, I'm going to carefully fly back over here and um, quietly let people know what I've discovered. Um, did the chittering seem to be coming from the room with all the webs or beyond yes. the door? Yes, you actually the room heard with the all the webs. You actually heard quieter versions of that chittering, both to the left and the right of you as you were passing through the, the, the four room. Okay. So yeah, I will let- but you, you managed both everybody. going in and coming out not to, I don't know, get their attention, garner any kind of response. Maybe they did notice you and they're told not to do anything. Maybe, who knows? But you, you are 95% sure that there are spiders within the thickness of those webs. Okay. And they're so probably not small let... because those webs are very thick. Yeah. I will let the group know what I have discovered. And then we can, you know, debate what we're going to do because well, that's what this group likes to do. 
we are at quarter after right now and i've got animals begging to go out so we're going to take our 20 minute break okay. right now um you guys can discuss out your plan or whatnot or take the break now and come back and discuss but i will meet you guys back here at 25 minutes to the hour cool sound good sounds like plan all right and then yeah hopefully uh shit will go down yeah Oh, shit will fly. <laughs> Much you say, well, was it fly. 25 after you said? 25 before. 25 before. Okay, cool. Uh, very good.
Okay. Yep, just wanted to make sure we didn't miss anything or we didn't record a bunch of nothing. up a ready check. I'm here, but I have a few minutes, a few things to finish up before I'm into my computer. All right, so who are we waiting for? I think just Dan, because he's not at his computer yet. No, it's me. I'm here, but I forgot to take. I apologize. I apologize. It's always it's you, Miz. Well, well last, last week, I was actually on board. <laughs> but not this week. I uh, Unfortunately, I was, uh, yeah, I... I do what I do best. I was snuggling in the blanket while waiting for game to commence. <laughs> At napping. Maybe. <laughs> I've got four, maybe five cats all clustering around my desk that all want space here. Well, of course they do. Mm -hmm. Well, a couple of them are getting pissed at each other. So I'm like, here, I'll go open some windows for you guys. All right. So Kaylee has made it safely back to the rendezvous spot just inside the corridor from the web covered room. 
Start the recording. You did already. Yep. Okay. Yeah, recording has resumed. But thank you for checking. And uh, so Kaylee, under her voice, is filling everyone in. And so let's see. Is there any additional? Whatever's in there just like to throw consistently unresponsive. So if they didn't mind Kaylee floating through there once, coming back through a second time, or any of the commotion that generated by discussion. Or monkey. The monkey, monkey is thing. currently flicking the lighter that uh, Fekish handed to him. Wait, there are lighters? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever it is he gave me. Do like the thing one you thing used I've to learned in the years I've known, one year one thing I've learned in the years that I've known um, Albi is that if, that if there is any way to ignite, combust, or explode something, he will find it. Yeah. Um, I, I think that goes for adventurers in general. Uh, he's as got well, a, he's got a special knack for explosives. Uh, what was that line from Harry Potter? He's got a particular proclivity for pyrotechnics. Yes. <laughs> Very few personal problems that cannot be solved by a suitable application of high explosives. Yep, that, that was a shirt I got for him once. Or uh, no, there was the one that I'm um, the bomb technician. If you see me running, try to keep up. Yes. 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 Do not wear that to the airport. Yeah, we have we have yeah. a long <laughs> <laughs> we, we have a long history of uh, exploring uh, combustibles. Uh, okay, so. Up game. <laughs> yes. So, um, what are what are we going to do with the information I have presented to you guys? Firebomb the room. Yeah, the monkey would like to use point his ring at it. Apparently, say let him. I I would rather I would rather save the ring. I'm not opposed to lighting the webs on fire, but I would prefer not to use the ring because we may need it. Let's look at the monkey and try. The, monk, the monkey. I holds think up by now you guys know that spiders are not the worst things you're going to run into. Exactly. <laughs> but there would be That's a new. That's why system. I want to save yeah. the ring. Let's uh, let's go get well, some snacks. According to some, I was going to say, according to some, that they're, they're the most delicious thing this place has to provide. Let's well, the question we really need to be asking ourselves is, why are we really here? Are we here to stop cultists, or are we here to loot the place, or do a bit of both? We can only loot the place after we stop cultists, but or are we here to just see what they're up to? Um, among other things, we are here to see what they are up to, um, but that does not mean that we can't stop them, and that does not mean that we can't loot the place. Um. Because, as you know, Time is pushing this place down here, and we don't know how long we got till they all of a sudden appear again. And Not I definitely here. don't want to be stuck in a corridor with a bunch of them showing up to say hi. Why our lovely wizard is aping around right now? Creepy, <laughs> 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 I mean, I guess instead of throwing fireballs, we could get the glyph ball glyph to throw him. But I don't think that's gonna be as effective as a fireball. Okay, so since the monkey wants to set the webs on fire, we should probably set the webs on fire because otherwise the monkey will set them on fire anyway. <laughs> Because, <laughs> because that is just Rudra's personality. He wants to set things on fire. He will set things on fire whether we let him or not. <laughs> Do not use the ring because we might need it for um, something nastier than spiders and their breaths. Um, but yes, let's set this place on fire. We did some. Just uh, yeah. So we can light we can light a torch and just toss it into the webs. Yeah, just yeah. keep in mind that by lighting this thing on by lighting this room on fire and um, getting spiders out, we may attract attention. I never gave you that idea. Just 
just remember that by lighting things on fire, we'll we risk attracting unwanted attention. Uh, I don't know how to point this out being on a druid. Uh, if we set something in fire in a very close space, how are we going to see? Because the smoke is just going to fill out the corridors and we're not going to be able to see down here unless there's a. <laughs> airflow somewhere where it can all flow out safely, which I don't think there is, we're going to have trouble breathing and seeing down here. Can't see anyway, so there's no light source. I don't have dark vision, so lighting the place up would be great. That's actually true. Yeah, if we're not doing any like... light, I don't think my ape can see anything either. Uh, the, don't the brothers have the monocles? Yes, we do. So they can see, but the ape cannot. Correct. No monkey see, monkey do. <laughs> Just waiting for that. <clears throat> Mon monkeys can see in color, can't they? Or are you mm -hmm. colorblind? Um, uh, the character yeah, monkeys can say. see in color, not the same colors that we see in, but monkeys can see in color. I know there are a lot of animals that can't, uh, don't have uh, cones for uh, detectors in their eyes, so they can't discern colors. I think most dogs are like that, except for wolves. And I think the opposite they, is they, true for for monkeys. They see birds. different. They they see different colors, and they can only they only have two kinds of cones for dogs. They can see colors, but very differently than we do. Yep. Because they've only got two types, and they are sensitive to different areas of the spectrum. Well, I don't think it's going to make a difference here, but it just was an interesting question to see. Are you going to have a problem with colors? But at the moment, we can't see red, green colors. Only blue and yellow. For dogs or for monkeys? Monkeys. Okay. Good to know. Monkeys Our can Google see color. Search. They just see color very strange, very differently than we do. Yeah, if I'm, so if I'm not I've been they... muted the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to say that. I'm like, yeah, dogs are blue and yellow. They can't see red very well. But I, ju I thought I just recently read something that all animals have a various, uh, if I remember it right, they all, uh, mammal animals have various color blindness. Birds actually have a sharper vision spectrum. Yes. So anyway, not like it matters. Not a whole lot of the mechanics of the game, game, but it is, helps. you know, interesting facts are always. Well, uh, it, could have played, to... it could have played a role and been relevant, but at the moment it's not. But uh, yeah, so how are we going to ignite these uh, silk strands? Would you normally light a torch? Hold on one second, guys. Can we just... I'm uh, inclined to agree with the druid that we shouldn't be lighting these on fire because we can barely stand up in here. So crawling, we're going to be crawling through the smoke anyway, Fine as far as the Goliaths go. Um, Well, the other alternative would be to have the sneaky, sneaky fire person cruise around the rest of the corridors in front of us and figure out an alternative. Mm -hmm. I do we can absolutely do that. And firebomb the room as we walk by or firebomb the room and back out. Sound like a plan? I am absolutely happy to go scouting out more. Um, You're faster and quieter okay. than the rest of us, stumbling around in the dark. Yes. Well, All you right. scout in with your twinkle little toes. All right. I will um, go scouting some more. Um, let's see. Where is my cursor? All right. So this door, what's up with that door? I think he As said I sneak he did around. That. Oh, did he? I think so. OK. Playing with one of his 50 cats. Ah. No, sorry. F family business, but I'm back. No, it's okay. Herding cats, too. I know your family. 
Uh, hold on again one second. See? Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> None of you have had the pleasure of being in Casa de Crazy before. I have. <laughs> All right. Sorry about that. Okay, I have. Um, what did so you were waiting on a piece of information? What was the piece of information that uh, that we did give? Just uh, I I I'm back to my notes. So what do we and we do not know? Korga is the bad guy. Barris, we thought was a good guy or a bad guy, and then explained himself and that he's a good guy. Um, he is the head of the slavers guard for the sand voyagers. Oh, he is a captain of the sand voyagers guild. Okay. Our um, captain. So one of um, many, not the one of the many. Okay. Um, I just said head so i guess it could, uh, our head works um oh, you know captain's usually middle management you know right and corga and barris corga and barris were both blaming each i can't remember were they blaming each other for the kidnap of the so Bar Barris was the prisoner. Barris is the prisoner that you just rescued. And he was being questioned. But by, Barris was by looking, someone named looking at them for having right. But but Barris was looking at Korga to have stolen the princess. So they were blaming each other, right? Barris going after Korga. Hold on, let me double check this. Make sure. The slavers and the slavers and the uh cultists um are questioning anyone and everyone that they can um, about the whereabouts of the princess. So it would seem thus far that neither the slavers nor the uh, cultists. cultists that we're dealing with have taken the princess because neither group seems to know where, they're, where she is. <clears throat> All right. So to give you a little bit of leading here, the, he was they, imprisoned... But he was imprisoned because one group thought that the group that he's associated with was responsible. He knows that they're not responsible. And because he's being interrogated, he obviously knows that the group that is interrogating him is not responsible because they're looking for her also, which led him to deduce while being imprisoned that someone else must have her. Right. And there's no one else has made this connection. And there's a deal between so, what is it? So the two things that I remember. So the Afrit, he did. He mentioned that the Afrit, isn't it? Wasn't it him who mentioned that the Afrit is interested in the princess for some reason? Yes. That's that's the connection I I was thinking was missing in the car. But there's something having to do with the Afrit and the princess that. The free has interest in the princess's whereabouts as well. Mm -hmm. Is that the piece we're missing? Uh, yep, you're going down the right path. There was a little more okay. to it too. He actually even told you where he suspects the Afrit is. Yes. That is to the crypt of something. Almazak. Badr Almazak. I will put that. Yeah. In. Zeter twat. <laughs> Stand to. Now, what is not known at this point is why the Afrit might be interested in the princess and how he even knows of her. Okay. 
do we have do we know where this um script is or ha at least have some idea where we might be able to find it the crypt yeah he did mention its direction, general direction from here. Okay. Anyone got notes? I just don't remember what that direction is. He said it was roughly northwest of here. Okay. Actually, I believe the phrase he used was beyond the hills to the northwest. Okay. Write. I want to write all my notes for this in here. Tortured. Um, all right. So, okay, well, you've moved down to another section of the corridor. Yes. Where there is door. a door. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Trying to figure out this door. This seems like your average door. Certainly, nothing as reinforced or um, detailed as hey. the other one that you encountered in the north northern corridor. Keith, okay. yes. can you? I have a note in here that says "cultists and slavers deal." Can you expand on that? Um, potentially. When was that written? Was that from last session or something earlier? Yeah, from the from the slaver from the from the captain. I think it's from the captain. I don't know. I don't know what it means. I could delete it. It's just it's an unclear note. Oh no 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 no. Well. I'm not quite sure what you're referring to from if it's related to events that happened at the last session. But if we go back two or three sessions to when you were dealing with the second son, he had mentioned that he had made a deal with the slavers. Okay. Because they Did had he approached he had they had approached him and he had asked that if you found the princess to bring her to him first. And that's when you guys grew suspicious of him, if I remember right. Sounds about right. Yeah. All right, let's see. Okay. So as of right now, as far as this guy's guy knows, the sand voyagers don't know location. The Corgo was a slaver's cultist head, also, right? The slavers don't know the location. He knows right, it that's... because he's been listening to the conversations of the people he's been charged to. Um, right. Start. And so the sand voyagers don't know. The slavers don't know. The cultists. Corgo was the head, one of the cultist heads, right? Mm hmm And he's asking that's, questions. That's your presumption, yes. So... The sand voyagers don't know, the slavers don't know, and the cultists don't know. Somebody did suspect the Efreet, though. Uh, uh, second son. Uh, what's the guy's name? The second son was Kalf. What the freak? Funny name. Yeah. Spell it though. <laughs> um nobody remembers off the top of their head, huh? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's let me get back to my white pot. Um, right here. Uh, of course, now that I'm making one. Oh, hold on. I'm just gonna back out of that one. Uh white palm. Hassan and chorus, chorus Icoth. Cultist doesn't know. Chorus doesn't know. So, so it's starting it. to... Just kidding. So... And what is the name of this session? Once again, dropping hints. Monkey Shines? 
<laughs> May have been appropriate, but no. Uh, what? Uh, what? What you call it? I, I posted in the Zoom and what drop down? What drop down can we find that in? I'm it's not a drop down. It's uh, I posted ignorance the is Zoom bliss. It's, it's the name in the in the general channel of the Discord. Ignorance, ignorance is bliss. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. So Hassan, we haven't really talked to Hassan. The dad. I, I will point out there's teeth. a question mark there. It's not a statement. Yeah. So we're starting to narrow it down, you know. Uh, so right now, no looking at my to list, know what's going on. Right. So, but through actions instead of words, all we have right now is the main dude, Kasim, says he's having problems. Hassan, main brother who's supposed to get married, says he's having problems. Chorus, through action, I believe, doesn't know. The Sand Voyagers don't know because they're actually in the slavers, the slavers, or the cultists. Sand Voyagers, we're going to ask the cultists, and the cultists, we're going to ask the Sand Voyagers, and the slavers don't know due to Captain overhearing the slavers. To me, that's kind of leading back to we got to grill or follow Kasim or Hassan some more. Does that make sense to everybody else? And Nadron, Nadron the cleric. He's reluctant to help us, but I want to say that he said something that said, yeah, he's not really interested. Or not really popping up in my head. And Adron said he'd help us if we get uh, items from Anut. Anut. Not sure what I wrote here. It's pretty fucking sloppy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he seemed kind of sleazy, but not, you know, not as bad as the other ones, but I'm following anyway, what you're saying, but I'm still thinking I, about I this room full of spiders. I is quite the right, right um, adjective I would use for Nadron. He, he was reluctant is the word that I, reluctant to yeah, help reluctant us. Reluctant does apply. Yeah, yeah. I, I would say the important characteristic I've been trying to convey in him is self-righteousness. There you go. Yes, yes, yeah. <clears throat> to the point of arrogance. Mm -hmm. Snarky. Yeah, that's another good one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, so that's the notes I have. The Afrit was interested. Uh, the Afrit was interested. And I can't remember if... So there's two ways for that. And I thought we talked about this. The Afrit could either be... Maybe I just thought it. Is the Afrit concerned with the princess? Is she special or does he need her? We don't know. Is, is, is she special? Know. Right. Is he is he is she a hindrance to his plan or does he need her for it? Okay. Anyway, that's what I got. Okay. All right, so. Back to Kaylee and where she is um, and the door that's there. Um, I want to kind of highlight something, something that she's noticing that I want to kind of highlight that I probably was not clear on. Um, this area that you're in, with the exception of the spider prints, does not look like anyone has been in here in a very long time. Oh, so I to start here. Huh? Yeah, they're not here. Okay, that is very interesting to know. And there's the debris that was piled up against the secret door, which may lead you to believe that it's been years since it's even been opened. The door that you are standing at now <laughs> um, does not appear to have been opened anytime recently. There are no footprints that you're discerning in the um, in the, the accumulated debris and dust, other than um, the spider. I don't want to okay. quite say prints, but you know you can kind of tell where their pincers have come down. And for the most part, yeah, it, it's somewhat intimidating because you can tell that their pincers have actually put small chips in the stone floor. 
Ooh, nobody okay. has been in here in a while. Does that mean maybe there's some loot in there? Or actually, I guess I should say. <laughs> <laughs> monkey shines, monkey shines. You know, Jim, yeah. we still so, haven't uh, we still haven't ventured on the idea that maybe if we knock you out, you'll turn back. So, <laughs> so I think uh, I think a polymorph changes if you go to zero hit points. But yeah, it does yeah. a normal polymorph. Catch that monkey. Excellent point, Alex. <laughs> Is this a normal polymorph? We don't know. Catch the monkey. And for that matter, who knows? It could just run out after a swing. <laughs> Tries to catch me. I'm taking off down the hallway is all I got to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this door seems pretty normal. Does it have a lock or a latch? Yes? Uh, latch, but not a lock. Okay. Um, listening at the door, do I hear anything beyond it? I don't really expect to accept possibly more spiders. Um, let me... Come on, behave. Go ahead and there take go. a investigation. Um, that did not work. Um, I'm listening at the door. Right. You do not hear anything. Okay. <laughs> what happens? When I float down that away. I fling poo at you. <laughs> <laughs> what you find actually is at that point. There's a door that leads to the north as the corridor ends. Okay. Um, let's listen at this door. Hmm. Alex? Yes? I would like for you to describe for me in as reasonable detail as you feel appropriate how Kaylee <laughs> is listening at the door. Are you just standing there and staring at it and going, do I hear anything? Or are you making any special gestures? Are you doing anything in particular to enhance your ability to, to listen? Are you positioning yourself in any special way? Um, things like that. Um, so the normal places where doors tend to have cracks. Um, so along the outline of the door, um, keyholes and latches um i'm pushing my i'm like pressing my ear against them maybe even trying to peek through okay so you're approaching the door 
from the west. The door is on your left hand mm -hmm. side. You're doing mm -hmm. an initial inspect visual inspection of the door. Obviously, your eyes are very focused on the door at that point. Mm -hmm. You press your ear to the door, and at that point, which direction are you looking? Um, which ear would you use? No problem is. Um, probably towards the wall at the end of the corridor. Okay, excellent choice, dear. So you know how when you know you're you're paying attention to your other senses, your a, a particular sense, your other senses tend to wander, and sometimes they still wind up picking up something. Yep. You're sitting there listening at the door, and you don't hear anything beyond the door, but as you're looking at the wall there, um, and in particular with your dark vision you're actually notice that there is a crease in the wall where colder air is seeping through. Oh my. And needless, to, you know, it, it, you don't make much of it at first, but as you're sitting there listening and not hearing anything, you're like, oh, what, what is it, what's causing that, that little blue line or that, yeah, that little blue line that's coming through there. Why is, what am I seeing? And so it's kind of got your attention. Yeah, and I'm going to go. And to um, player, damn you and your 20s. <laughs> so I, 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 I didn't want to give it away. And I threw it in there. OK, which way is she going to be looking? You looked the right direction. OK. Um, so. Um, yeah, I'm going to shift my attention to, um, yeah, that stream of air and. Um, it's not necessarily a stream of air, but you can tell there is definitely colder air seeping out around what appears to be the edge of a doorway. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to turn my attention to that. And um, see what I can learn. Um, looking, first looking, then carefully and cautiously um, touching and poking and prodding and listening, definitely listening. Well, there's definitely no sound coming from either direction, either from the obvious door or the um, whatever is on the other side of this wall. Yep. But um, can I find, say, a um, secret door or a crack in the wall or? Now I'm going to have you do that investigation check again. OK. Are there any of the spider webs out across the corridor? No, they are completely confined to the room to the north. Almost like they were landscaped that way, for lack of a better word. Unfortunately, Kaylee does not seem to find any kind of mechanism, trigger, or other means of access. Okay. But you um, well, I'm going to. Is, you are fairly convinced there is a space on the other side of that wall. Okay. I am going to go back to my, float back to my companions and um, tell them what, what I have found. And see what they want to do now. And Buzz returns the rogue, uh, Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> not a rogue not a rogue not a rogue even though you you act like one but yes <laughs> <laughs> I, I really 
fucking hope this monkey isn't this loud because I'm going to have to start rolling a lot more wandering monster checks. I mean, it's, the sound effects are great, but I hope you're keeping the uh, keeping the the volume appropriate. He, he, I'm going to look at the Reza... monkey and everybody else and be like, "Monkey, which way do you want to go?" Let's see what happens. <laughs> I've had it. <laughs> He Great. points. He points to the torch and points to the spider room. Yes. <laughs> Kaylee rolls her eyes. We discussed this. <laughs> this place will fill with smoke, and we won't be able to breathe. We can just speak. go kill the spiders or go to the blue light. Although the monkey thing. can't really see anything if there's no light. Because I don't have night vision. Uh, I, since I'm not an elf. so Just to point out, the blue light is not a blue light. It's the color that she perceives with her dark vision. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. Some kind of color coming through. It, it, it's the change in hue <gasps> that indicates a change in temperature to her. <clears throat> okay, okay. Oh, wait, my good man. Did I not realize we are in the dark? <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, brother. <laughs> give, give the monocle to the monkey. I say, oh, awesome! Snapping good time. <laughs> Kiss monocle to the monkey. Oh, <laughs> how do you chitter do in English accent? I, I was just was going to ask yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just make sure whatever you say, you're twirling your uh, tash a little bit. <laughs> Anyone yeah. would know, Miz would know. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, I have I am interested in the spider room and the room to the south, right? But we need to find the cultists. We need to stay on point, and then we can ransack and pillage this place to our you know, hedonistic delight, but the cultists are probably the only place we haven't checked so far would be the pit. Let's be fair, brother. You did ask the monkey and he gave you an answer. True. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, but he's just, you know, throwing the same lump of shit right now. We, Fine. we need to find the cultists. I totally want to kill the spiders. Don't get me wrong. I want <laughs> some more spider legs, but I really, really want to squeeze a cultist's head until it cracks. So, fair enough. Thing too. <laughs> well, we tell us fire everything. Bomb, firebomb this room, go back into the larger room where the pit is, and wait for the cultists to come out of the pit. Right. We know that they're going to come that way. So, we can totally set up an ambush in that pillar room near the pit or the brazier room, too. Right. I don't think they knew about this. We could just close this door, have the monkey turn the eyeball the other back to where it was, and see what happens. That's um, true. But I this room. Really they haven't been here. Now there is something I'm going to bring up specifically to two of you because of your overall general motivations and. Um, what probably led you here in you know to this part of the world in the first place both redreth and Haig realize something or connect a couple of dots here now redreth this concept is probably going to be really complicated for you to relay if you chose to share it. But fortunately, Haig also gets the concept too. And I'm so, right on the level with a monkey. All right, fine, fine. Well, actually, this is the, strange the way this works <laughs> out. But you're connecting the dots and what she's been suggesting. And you're like, well, okay, so this area that we're in, no one's been in for a while. So who knows how long the spiders have been there, but they are there. But then there's also this other area that also is hidden. So if people haven't been in this area in a while, how long has it been since people have been in that area? And all of a sudden the dollar signs are showing up in your eyes. Gotcha. So we know which way they've gone because they're using that path and they're not using this one. 
But is that what you're saying? I, I mean, Dollar, you've probably found an area that hasn't been touched in a while. If that other area is even more secretive, it could be what decades, centuries, millennia since anyone has been in that part of this catacomb that you found. I think the point that you you should be making is that this area that you just passed into through the first secret door looks markedly different than the area beforehand. The area before the secret door obviously was active space that was being used. There had been traffic in there. For the most part, it had been kept up. It was relatively free of debris. Um, all of you had detected signs of recent activity in one form or another. This part beyond the secret door feels ancient and undisturbed. Untouched. And, so this is uh, and again, where all the good toys are. Presumably, but the point is, is that the two of you are realizing that, well, yeah, this has been undisturbed, but if this hasn't been visited and there's yet another deeper secret area, how long has it been since someone's been in there? You're like, hmm. Okay, yeah, that, that's what's drawing your attention. You're like, okay, There's yeah, we may a, need a lot to go this way. Monkey we may need to go that right way, now. but this way sounds really, really tempting. Okay, so with that said, is there, Lots did we notice monkey jumping any, up and down. Did we, did we uh, notice any sort of mechanism that we could push from this side of the door that would close the door? Close the, the secret door that you door. went through. Correct. Um, good question. Let me double check that. Because yeah, you if had to press, is, you had to press, you had to press a, a gem to open it. So, right. Uh, let's. I have a side it... question for the party. How long, when we were scoping out this obelisk that they all that let us down here, right? Mm -hmm. How long were they down there? Because we scoped it out all night, didn't we? Two to three hours. I thought, if I remember correctly. Sounds about right. Yeah. So we've been down here a couple hours, so they might. You're, you're getting close to midnight at this point. Yeah. yeah. So midnight, midnight, they're going to be coming in because they came in at midnight, stayed for two to three hours and then left, if I remember. Oh, I thought we followed them down here. We did follow them down here. Initially, yeah. but then you came back. Okay, so with that all being said, my thought is if we can shut the door, then we could have all the time we want in here. And not have to worry about being followed unless there was something that triggered to somebody, hey, somebody's been in here, but I can't see what that like would be. all the shit we blew up in the corridor crumbling uh with but the sigils, if we so. your broken right. box. But they yeah. don't know about the secret door. So if we shut the secret door, we should be okay. Right. They'll get to look around those rooms, but we yeah. could kill them all and then we have all the time we want. <laughs> and as far as the as far as the mechanism on the other side, though there is no latch on the door itself, um, you do discover a um, a lever on the adjacent wall that is somewhat concealed but not entirely hidden. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm up for whatever. Base. Just let me just let me know what you guys want to do. I'm up for whatever. Yep. I'm down. I'll be right the back. Monkey, the monkey will go over to the lever and look at everybody and point and, you know, give just a little Close yeah, should, I, Close should I pull the letter, lever? <laughs> Ms. and Alex, what do you think? Um, then, we, then we can explore without them coming up behind us if they don't know it's here. Right, but we came down here initially to um, find evidence of the cultists doing icky things so that we could take it to the um, the chieftain. And punish them. True. Kaylee, uh, all right in the sense. Cool right stuff in the sense. that we get could help us do that. Kaylee is right in the Fine. sense that this area does not seem related to what you currently came down for. It does feel like a distraction. Right. Is, is that enough to yeah. convince um, uh, Haig and uh, Redreth to ignore it? Probably. Well, it's up to you. I want not, to not, at this, not at this point. I'm like, but the I shiny. Mean, 
She's she's just pointing out that we did not come down here to loot. We came down here to gather information. Um, but she's also not um, against looting the place because um, there's some sure. pretty what's the, what's cool the deal with shiny that door? things that, she, that we've acquired. Yes, uh, that was, I definitely I, want to loot, just not right now. Big question, yeah. guys. One of these shinies could be another star. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're going to need that end game anyway. Right. So before we leave, we loot, we go set up our ambush, wait for cultists, crack some skulls, get the answers we need, take some heads so we can prove what we said and, you know, figure out a way to make them talk. And then. As long as the timeline falls here. that way. Sure. Sure. Yeah, if we right. can catch him. And I say we try to catch him. I and will remind we, you guys, because it should be quite overwhelmingly obvious, you'd need to take care of the potential spiders before you set up camp in here. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. But that'll provide for a good meal. It yeah. will. Or we this will, is a, I think this is a out. good base. I think this is a good yep. base of operations. We don't go... That's a very good point. It's a good spot for the tent. Oh, we don't have the tent anymore, guys. No. No tent. Not at the moment, anyway. All right. We're, we're hopeful it is not permanent, right? Unless Redrith mm -hmm. is having way too well, much. It depends. I think Redrith's enjoying being the monkey. <laughs> and there's definitely an argument to having a shoulder-mounted mage. True. Mage All right. Head. All right. Uh, be the responsible one. Stay focused. All right. <laughs> the monkey does not like that idea at all. <laughs> Being a shoulder-mounted mage, or it's staying focused. Leaving, staying leaving focused. the shiny. Yeah. Jumping up and down. Poo flying everywhere. Just saying. <laughs> Social conventions out the window. I want to look at the monkey yeah, just Kale, my Kale only just Kale only just looks at the monkey and shakes her head. Somebody's gonna get fireballed on her hiney. Little tss. anyway. Oh, miserable. Right, let's do this. Mission this whole group in the first place. So you know this is true. Yeah, this it is, is it is the cat expedition. So which way are we going? Ask you got the all the info, Alex. I'm waiting for you guys to tell me where you want to go. Wait, we have spiders, um, unknown, cooler area, and nondescript door. Oh, I yep. still stick to my original idea. Well, like I said before, uh, down to what you guys think we uh, came down here to do. Just remember, I'm normally a cat who just likes to sunbathe. Meow. Fireball in the room and go back into the pillar room with the pit and wait for the cultists. Yeah, let's if we're if they're coming back in at midnight, that room that had the beds and the chests is a good spot to wait till we hear them call them, come in to surround the pit or whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get the drop on them, handle that situation, clear this joint out. Then we have a secret spot within this city now. And we've got yeah. 35 minutes to do it. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Let's do it. Back cigarettes, sunglasses, it's dark. All right, I'm going. Off right, I go. Listen. Bye. All right, so what exactly is the plan now? We're going to firebomb the spider room. <laughs> and then back into the pillar room. Obviously I'm uh, the smoke. back into the secret door room, waiting for everybody to come through. I'm hitting the left eye. Then we got to run, book it across the bad feelings room into the mm. room with the chests and the blocks. Wait, we can't wait in the room with the chest and blocks because we killed the zombie that opens the door for the cultists to get down here. Did we not close that door? 
Oh, shit. They're still open. So they're going to do a thing, and we're going to have to open the door. We need to be that far back. We need to be back at the main entrance so that when they come through. Hey. Well, at Class- least one uh, person needs to be by the door. Po- one possibility. Of those Go ahead. Do you think they pay enough attention to the zombie? Uh, to realize that zombie colored skin is kind of purplish gray and we're kind of bluish gray. Do you think they would know the difference if one of us acted like a zombie to open the door? Hmm. What is your what is your sleight of hand? Probably or deception. Terrible. What's your what's your deception? Charisma. Deception plus two. Mine's a negative three. You want to try that? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna with a mace and a hammer, I'm going to pretend to be an armor. I'm going to pretend to be a zombie. Let these fuckers in. This and I'll cool. hang out in the little nook room in case it doesn't work. Like everybody needs to, because if I'm there by myself think, with like 15 cult members, I'm kind of, I'm going to kill a few of I them, think but I'm going we down. All need to, I think we all need to hide out in the room where the zombies were being stored. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'll stand in front, acting like a zombie. You guys hide behind me without zombie. What do you think? Plan? Let's do it. We're running out of of time, and I want to know how this comes out. (laughs) It's a plan. Just to let you know, if you guys do want to pin them and trap them down here, I only need one Goliath with me to destroy the door mechanic from this side. And, uh, And then I can cast spell to get you through the door. Okay. If, if that's what you wanted to do, if you wanted to see it, if there's a way of trapping them down here. If, the, if it goes awry, we need to keep one alive. Keep that in mind. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, and it could be Chorus. So one Chorus. of them is probably going to be Chorus Ikoth. Fekish, can you speak with them? Uh, I would have to look through my spells. You should be. You should have access to it. Right. You probably don't have it prepared, but you should have access to it right now. So that's an option too. We can yeah. just kill them all. Just yeah. take their heads. Well, uh, like I said, <laughs> if one of them is chorus, we don't want to kill them. That would put piss off the sheik pretty bad. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I think he has to make that decision. Well, if we can bottleneck them somewhere, I got a spell where I can definitely uh, hurt a lot of them all in one go. So just make sure you choose uh, the right kind of battlefield, and I can uh, make sure there's no escape for them. Like I said, let's do this. We got thirty minutes and counting. Let's go. <laughs> Plan in motion. I know. I want others to... is holding the chain. I don't want to. You're going to be. You have to do it because your deception check is way higher than mine. All right. The monkey has no way to get quickly through the door past. Isn't that trap still going on in the door that it blows everybody up? It's all right. You can hit it on my shoulder. I got you. No, we disabled those. Oh, oh yeah. This room crushed them. the. But of course, if they're not working anymore, that also is likely to draw suspicion. True. The monkey really yeah, well, doesn't like leaving the on, secret area. We're planning we'll on back. stopping the cultists before they get that far. Are we though? We don't know what kind of rituals they're trying to pull off inside. If we can get them as far True. as we can get them and see what they're doing, we can get more info. Gonna make it past True. the lift. Destroyed those. They some of them could stay and investigate while others go through and are like. You know, we still have a job to do. I don't know. Yeah. It's worth okay, the back at the chain. Let's fly out. Yep. Let's go, Doing buddy. Doing his best, zombie. Uh, you hear him, like, practice some different noises for whatever reason. <laughs> uh, 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 oh. <laughs> you're like, you're like the, the zombie guy from uh, uh, Wreck-It Ralph. <laughs> Head, no pain. Head. As an alternative, I do have access to speak with dead. I just don't have it prepped. Cool. 
but we got to keep Chorus alive. Perhaps but if he happens to die, we still have the opportunity to talk to him. If necessary. Correct. Correct. We can just uh, say and he happily on. points to his ring and points out to the door. Um, uh, you and I, though, do we already have a little bit of gumption to eh, if he dies, he dies because he was kind of a punk ass in that tent. Yeah, I'm not too worried about him. Yeah, me neither. Whoops, I did a scanning or an arcing swing that happened to catch him on the shoulder. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, the Was team. I not supposed to step on his face? My bad. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he died in a secret cultist slayer. Yeah, he was a human sacrifice. It was fucked up. We were yeah, watching man, him I, dance on his head. I, I have no idea how he ended up in the pit. <laughs> Love My bad. Damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's getting a little bit of the uh, Bob Saget treatment. Oh, too soon. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Oh, Poor Bob. All right, I've moved you all back over to the the map that we have detailed, so you guys can uh, move yourselves around as appropriate. Full disclosure: Bob. I am pretty bummed that Bob Saget, the Bob Saget stuff going down, but this. This speculation has me deeply interested. I know that uh, fans get weird, but Bob Saget seemed to be a pretty cool dude. All right. All I can say is that it does sound like it was a pretty tragic uh, situation. Yeah. Not pleasant. One of the people looking at it said he fell and hit his head like you would get hit by a baseball bat. So, yeah. You know. Right. That's Wait, the... what? what? I didn't know any of this. I just thought he yeah. died. No, he. Yeah, it was head trauma. At first, yeah, the first they said he had head trauma enough to where. He thought he he just wanted to lie down in his bed and go to sleep and sleep it off. Mm. And now some now the speculation is that he got head trauma consistent with a strike of a baseball bat or a something ball. I don't remember what the name of the ball is. You ever see oh, movies shit. where they hold the ball in their hand and they bludgeon somebody and knock them out? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, similar to that. And that maybe they bludgeoned him, killed him, and laid him in his bed on purpose. Uh, and it could be accidentally. I hadn't killed heard him. about anything malicious. The only thing his I've... his skull was all cracked all the way around, so it was right. a oh, really shit. hard hit. Yeah, it was a hot one time injury. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. Wow, I had not heard about that that part of it. Yeah. <laughs> shit. All right, so. I believe we have Cultist. a position. Fekus, you're still down there. Mizram, you're still down in the in the corridor. I should be taking off points from you. This guy spent a long time hanging out, talking in that corridor. All right, so Varric, you're hanging out right by the door, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And Hig and um, Kayla Lee are standing by the mechanism, correct? Uh, we are, we are in the, the little cavern off to the side that had the um oh, that's a, the right, that's where zombie they, storage that's where they're stored the mechanisms actually where varic is okay so varic is going to be controlling it um hagen kelly are hiding out in the cavern red dress what are you doing more monkey shine i'm gonna move up because i'm a little far for poo flowing flinging so <laughs> So I got to be in front of you guys, kind of in the doorway to hide that you're there, because if anybody glances into the room, knowing that there was supposed to be four zombies, I want to block their vision of you guys not being zombies. I think Alex should probably be in the room to the south to give her a better line of fire on the doorway if shit goes south. Yeah. Because you can shoot up the hallway. Yeah, you could be like there or something. Yeah. 
but out, out of sight. But if things kick off, you're in a better position to shoot from there than you would be on the side. Just so a thought. Are you, are you staying in the great hall? Me? Yes. So you're thinking I should be like there or there? There. Remember, there. remember there's those water pools in this room. I mean, you gotta, so you I'm going to hide around guys, this corner. Okay. Are you going to let them get as far as we can until we get noticed? Is that the idea? Yeah, right. Yeah, that was what I was in. thinking, but I don't know if it's going to work. Especially with the uh, the runes. Are the runes visibly damaged? Like, so, okay, so let me think. The runes if they... Cool. Yeah, if they know how to operate the runes, he cast an earthquake. All the stone in that area is visibly warped and oh yeah, oh shit, yeah, okay. And that's in the corridor or in front of the door behind this room right now. Right, just to his east. Yeah, so they would get to at least that point before somebody goes. Oh, if they make it past the zombie door at the top. If they do get far enough, they're going to get to that corridor where Miserum is just to the east and go, something's fucked up. Yeah. And that's our kill zone right there. Is, is, do we pause and wait for them to do something or just kind of play it out? That's the question. Do all of them pause or do some of them go, oh, man, we better go see what else is messed up? Yeah, I guess it would depend on who comes down first and what they do as the reaction. But that would give it enough for them to come through that we would still have an element of surprise if they get that far. So here's the other downside. If they get into that room and they're like, what the hell happened here? And then they turn around and Miz and Alex are in the room, then it's definitely a stop. That's all my thought. And I don't care either way. If that's the way we run it, we run it that way. We still have the advantage because you right. two coming out of that side corridor are going to really create chaos for them. <laughs> right. We'll have them surrounded pretty much. Yeah. And who's to say they, they'll fight back? They may not. They might they go, whoa, 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 whoa. We're innocent. We'll, ha we'll have them right good. where they want us. Uh, I, uh, okay, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to uh, blast them all in this room where I am now, or do you want me to hide in animal form in the main room, and then if they do stop by the door, just blast them all by the door to stop them from uh, going anywhere? Well, that's why I'm staying in the pillar room. If things kick off, I can move forward. Yeah. It's uh, it's all going to depend on their reaction too. Right. I would say maybe you wait on the pillar north of Feckish, Miz, okay. and then you know kind of stay hidden behind the pillar. And if they go through and go check the pit, or you know, let's hear what yeah. they say. Let's hear what they do. See what they do. If something kicks off, we'll hear it. Okay. So, am I supposed to stay here? With all the information, Alex, I would say, you know, you have probably the wherewithal to do what's best for you. I don't say, you know, I don't think we should bottleneck you, but whatever you think with what's being said. That is a good spot that even if somebody turned around and said, oh, there's a ranger right there, you know, I, I don't know. Yeah. There's so many ways it could go. So many ways yeah. it could go. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to, um, I'm going to hide there. Um, do you want stealth rolls? Yes, please. Everyone who's trying to stay hidden. Well, I'm just, I'm actually just kind of standing there, rocking back like the zombies were before. Yep. Yep. I get that. So, in your case, uh, what is it? Uh, your deception check? Yeah, which is horrid. <laughs> you want deception from VAR, too? Up near the entrance? I'm yeah, I'm gonna do a dex I'm gonna do a dex check for the ape. So honestly, honestly, Keith, this room was dark. I'm hoping they walk by it, not even paying attention. Honestly, right. You're, you're right. They would have given you a second oh, yes. second glance. Right. Sorry, I forgot to do it in the tower. I did a second one in the tower. Since stealth is a dex check, I just did a dex check for the ape. Yeah, and uh, deception is also. I don't know. Wait, deception is charisma. My fault. Well, I just needed one basically for Varric for the deception. 
everyone else uh, is a stealth check. And I think we've got all of that. Oh, let's investigation, investigation. Is Just in case you still want it. <laughs> And there's just a little quiet. All right. So you all assume the position and uh, you ready yourselves. And uh, though you feel somewhat rushed initially due to the lateness of the hour, you probably have a good about 15, 20 minutes before there's any reason to um, take action or no. And sure enough, yeah. you know, about that time, someone a group of individuals has descended down the steps and approaches the door and sure enough you hear open in the name of the great one and i'll pull it open and he opens the door and three individuals walk through and as they walk by without even bothering to look in your direction they say close in the name of the great one well, and they let the chain down. And they proceed down through the room into the corridor. They turn left, apparently oblivious to Kaylily's presence. And that's about when they notice the floor up, up, uh, upturned and warped. And one of them exclaims, What has happened here? This is not a good sign, my brother. No, it is not. Do you think Corga knows? I would think we would have been warned if he did. What do we do? Let's proceed in. Let's go in and see if there's anything else wrong. Make sure the, t the altar hasn't been destroyed. So they stop at the. I know, right? <laughs> Like it's got me on pins and needles. <laughs> uh, where is that one? Hold on a second. You could, you could hear a mouse fart. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, one of them, or the three of them, stopped just before the the corridor, <laughs> and one of them speaks. Seti, minion. Lolanka. And then the three of them proceed through the doorway. How are we even supposed to know that with those things? Oh. The same way you just found them out. Right. And as they walk into the grand hall, I was just saying to myself, man, maybe I should write those down. And then I'm like, wait a second. They're all broken. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Hello? Jeez. So they walk into the room there. They step in there. They're obviously looking around to see if anything is different. But somehow, some way... If they do notice either Miz or Fekish, they do not respond to either of their presence. <laughs> That's awesome. So they're standing there looking around. They seem somewhat relieved by the perceptions that Mizram and Fekish are getting at the moment. And one of them says, it doesn't look like there's any more damage in here. We must find Korga. And at that point, the three of them proceed straight ahead to the room with the three basins. And let's see. Miz, they disappear out of your sight. But Fekish, you're able to notice that as they pass into that room, they approach the north wall and then apparently open some kind of doorway or otherwise concealed opening that you guys did not detect and disappear beyond it. Right. Sweet. Interesting. Okay, so do we mad scramble now that we know what path they're likely to take to stay better hidden? And we got to make. I don't know. You seem to do a pretty good job avoiding their detection, mm -hmm. just as it was. 
Okay. Yeah. But yeah, man, did they get some shitty rolls? <laughs> uh, seriously, uh, for their perception checks, they got a three, a four, and a two. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> nice. uh, all right. Well, let's see what the fates have us for the rest of it. <laughs> how, okay. How many did we clock coming down the first time? About 15 yeah. of them. So roughly about a little over a dozen. Is that what he said? Oh, I thought it was only, yeah, I thought he said a small group as in like four. No, the very first time we watched when we were casing the joint. Right. Oh, gotcha. Because the more of them we get down here without being detected gives us an advantage. Yep. Because right now we know we've got three that just went down. So I think we should hang out and let more of them come down. Yeah, I think uh, the three who are kind of in the open should find different spots so that it's less of a situation. That's what I was... Okay, that's what I was like, man, maybe... Again, um, self-perception, hopefully more than DM to player, but um, K.L. Lily feels rather confident. Um, You know, she's at a perfect angle where they're turning and they're really not looking behind them. Ms. Right, and right, Fekish, right. on the other hand, you're both bewildered because as far as you can tell, that they were, bu- they were looking straight at you guys and you're like, what, you don't fucking see me? <laughs> they don't see me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I should probably move farther afield. Or maybe even lower left room, right in like an angle where you could see into the, still see the north room. That's ah, a hard angle. Hide behind one of the braziers in the brazier room and find out what they do to get the door open. Maybe well, as I know. a mouse. I know the door's there. So maybe as a mouse. Yes. Well, oh, I, I, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go over there and just obviously turn into a spider. Uh, uh, yep, yep, the, yes. Uh, just, Click on spider form, spider form, spider form. I turned into a spider form. Nice. <laughs> uh oh, something happened with the visuals because I clicked on OK at the same time that uh, you turned to a spider. So let's see. If no, that, that's okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna basically just sit up here. Uh, I'm not sure what you want to do with my other token. If you just want to move it somewhere. Yeah, I don't think I can get rid of the, the extra green arrow, but no big deal. Oh, no, no, no. oh my god, there are multiple spiders everywhere! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're oh, going yeah. to hang out in the corner where there is no brazier, correct? Uh, yes. Okay. And, you uh, could. I, I don't want like about eight eyes uh, full of uh, bright light. And just exactly how big are you in this form? Uh, I am tiny, whiny, winty little spider. Okay. Presumably a very heavy one, but... All right, so it, only another three or four minutes later before another group of people come down. This time, it's a group of two. And the one appears to be wearing rather rich, rich robes. I should point out... Everyone you've seen so far, the first three and the two that are coming now, wear hoods, so you cannot see their faces. But in this case, this one is wearing rich, richly colored robes compared to the others' dun-colored um, ornaments. So hmm. it, he definitely has your attention. And and when he asks, and obviously you can't tell us until you've opened the door for him, but you you already get a clue to this because when he says, open in the name of the great one, he speaks with an air of authority and commandeering that, hmm, okay, this is someone important. Can I roll for perceiving Chorus's voice? Because I talked to him at the bar. Yes, you may. Roll. Okay, you perceive that it is definitely not Chorus's voice. Okay, I just cool. open the door and close it as instructed. Mm-hmm. And so, Chorus, uh, damn it, that's not good. <laughs> that, um, the individual passes through the door. It's not Chorus. This is in my head. Um, 
stops and says, close in the name of the great one. And he looks at you and gives you a second glance, but then proceeds down the corridor. Ah, awesome. The little pee came out. <laughs> <laughs> so something caught his suspicion, but not enough to hold it, apparently. The monkey does a very quiet. <laughs> yeah, I'm loving the sound effects. Absolutely. And he proceeds down, comes past Kaylily. And this is when the two of them notice the stuff on the floor. What has happened here? This is not good. We've been breached. Go alert the others immediately. Chorus. Again, why do I keep using his, that name? Again, it's not. <laughs> I mean, I, it, at it, this it, point, we, we kind of know if it's not Chorus, it's the other guy, right? Yeah, but why I keep saying his name, I don't know, because it's They're so close. Him. I'm just glad I haven't said who it is yet. I'm, um, I'm guessing it's Korga, but that's fair enough. So <laughs> that that individual that you think is Korga is passing through <laughs> through the corridor he does not bother to say the words and is heading straight ahead in the same direction that you notice the first three um pass into the other one turns around and starts heading back the way he came and stops short because he notices kale the prick huh said <laughs> kale shoot the prick is he the only one there? He's the only one standing there? At the moment, yes. Uh, the other one is probably halfway to three quarters through the hall. You have a split Alex, to make a response. Alex, silence him. And I'm going to try to... I'm going to try to come out real quick and see if we... Where is he? Do you have an okay. icon for him? Um, you. I don't think you've noticed him noticing me, have you? I could see him here from, I think, if, depending on where he is, I could see and pay attention he, to what's He turned going on. around hastily to return in the direction he came and stopped short right in front of you. In front of Alex. I'm not trying to move that way. I'm trying to be right here and get rid of my little icon, but stop, stop okay. short of Alex. Right. So he's right in front of her. I'm trying to find an icon quick. Okay. Um... I think I don't have a whole lot of choice because either he raises the alarm or I shoot him, fail to kill him, and an alarm is raised anyway. Is um, there a way we can point get him to range also? Oh, he what? is right in front of her. Right, and he stops right in front of her. So I'm trying to can find he... him that kind of quick. Hold on. Can you get him in a chokehold and a mouth around or a hand over his mouth? Because I can get out of here and help drag him. I into am the... not very good at such things. Yeah. I can attempt it, but I don't really expect to succeed. So can right. we hear we hear them walking and then we hear them exclaim? We hear one guy walking forward and the other guy there's there's the uh, little pools of water do we hear him jump over in them or something and then stop i mean what are we hearing from that person and i'm watching moment so. to gasp because we're all listening intently obviously with paying attention if i hear him gasp the monkey's gonna bolt right out with a screech Oh, okay. Okay. oh, he's right there. Okay. Just, and I'm just, try yeah. to grab just, him. just making noise, making distraction noises. Just, okay. just, yeah. just um, running out and around to distract. Well, hey, okay. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to step I, back and shoot at him. And I'm going to, I'm going to point at the monkey to try to go into the, this room. Hold on double this room to distract. Cause I'm going to try to grab him and pull him into here try to choke hold him out knock him out with a choke hold and pull him into here all right well um remind me again kelly what is the ability that you don't have to um 
he doesn't get an attack of opportunity when you step back from him in close quarters. Uh, skirmisher. Disengage, right? Skirmisher, that's well, it. No, I was going to say he disengages the generic, but she has a special ability that allows her to automatically disengage. From that. Okay. Oh, she's so got it. It allows me to do it as a reaction as opposed to needing to do it as my action. Correct. So as oh. all that's going on, I'm just going to run, like just run, making all kinds of, of noise, like I'm a wild animal that got in here and just running around back and <laughs> forth and just all over the place. All right, all so sorts of needless to say, that is going to wind up getting the other individual's attention before he disappears. So this is going to turn into a full combat. That being said, Kaylee, go ahead and take your shot and see whether how many, whether or not you are able to silence him. Oh, I'm not with that roll. I, I am apparently not connecting to the combat tracker. I can target him. But yeah, I, all I did was I'm... put it, all I did was put an icon down. That's why I said I'm not ready for for battle on this one. I just wanted to see if you were able to eliminate him. Um, so I with, don't think so with the 15. Uh, you actually do hit him with the 15. He's not, oh, nice. he's not well armored at all, and he's also um, not surprised, but caught off guard. Where did he? Okay, hit I'm him? guessing it's. I'm guessing it's not a sneak, though. No, it is not a sneak. So just roll for damage. Is he dead? Uh, uh... Yes. You drop him. Okay. Nice. So I'm gonna catch I'm gonna catch his body. Is he dead or unconscious? Uh he's below zero. Okay, so I'm going to catch him as he falls, drag him back into this room. Okay. But as I said, your monkey already started raising the alarm. So but they don't know he's not just a monkey. That, that's true, but it still caused the other individual to stop and turn around. But, but I'm in my clothes <laughs> as a monkey and just running all over and doing the... <laughs> Just who's bananas all over the place. Not, who's to say that's not weird, though? They could blame, depending on the stealth of the rest of us, they could blame everything that's happening here on you as a monkey and be like, oh. Exactly. So you might be able to, with that, your speed and dex, be able to run away. The floor cannot be attributed to a monkey. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Tony cave in the fucking wreck the sigils. <laughs> Wait until I put that fireball right up his face. We don't know that these guys don't know about the monkey trap, though. Right, they, exactly. They could know that, that too. it could be a person that got morphed. And yeah, but if they did, forever. how could they... Why didn't they ever find the secret? Ah, good, good point. Good point. So, I moved that icon that, that Kaylee just dropped over to um, where the other individual stops and turns around. It is now two minutes past the hour. So I will have a chance to get that combat ready and put together for us. And that's where we will resume in two weeks. Find out next time. Oh, do we have, do we still have, this is the big question, guys. Do we still have the ability for Chorus to wait for Chorus to get down to the room before we initiate everything? That's yes. a big, we I'll can have... just leave the door propped open. So hopefully some of them will come down and be like, shit, what's going on? We better go help. Uh, true. And then we can kill it. A decision Hopefully. that you have some gifted time to decide upon. And once again, yes. I encourage you, use the Discord channel to you know communicate strategies and share stuff uh, over the next two weeks, both A, so that you're ready, and B, so that you're not as rusty when we restart the session next time. Cool. Try, try to keep it fresh. And I know I've been just as guilty about you know paying attention to that channel during the work week, but I do at least yeah. try to check it on the weekends. Cool. Cool, uh, cool. Thanks for the run, guys. I got a boogie out. Oh, yeah. so okay. Well, I hope you all enjoyed yourselves. Um, I'll be give me a call later and give my best to your uh, to your wife and uh, kid. Right up. Yeah, most certainly. Thank you for game on. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Oh, uh, it's a three day weekend over here. I'm looking forward to it. 
<laughs> well, hopefully you enjoy it and uh, you recuperate some energy and uh, yeah, enjoy it where you can. It'll give me an excuse on, on Monday to say, hey, I need to work on my maps. Mm. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> what a concept. Well, <laughs> luckily you haven't spotted Warhammer Total War 3 yet. Yeah, it's, I uh... did spot it and I put it on my wish list, but I don't have the budget. <laughs> I almost was out in your neck of the woods, Keith. Oh, really? Yeah. My sister is moving home from Medford, Oregon, which is not a super long way from you. No, I've, I've driven up there before, actually. Yep. It, it is about a 10 to 12 hour drive, but that's not unheard of for people on the West Coast. Right. Yeah. My brother is the one flying out there instead, but otherwise I was the backup person to fly out there and then drive back with her with the moving van. So, Well, um, that would have been a cool... Uh, I, I probably could have met you halfway or something, met up for, uh, for a meal or something, or right. a tie rolling session. But Yeah, exactly. If you ever do make it to California, definitely let me know. I will. I'm fixing up my, my uh, Ford Bronco so that I can come out at least as far as Utah and Nevada and... and tool around out there so oh, right on my mom lives in vegas so I, I, i'm actually due for a visit out there myself soon very cool all right folks always a pleasure gaming with you guys really glad to <laughs> have a full easy, group again this week hope you've had it in, found it interesting and fun um definitely you, you know what we're going to start with next week and um yeah a lot more of the storyline is probably going to get revealed next session so uh definitely i uh, hope you're uh, excited to be back here Sounds oh, yeah. good. Oh yeah. oh yeah. Kill some cultists. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys in two weeks. Yep. Thanks, guys. Thanks.